What's going on guys, it's Face Simp here, and today I'm going to be talking about our week 2 matches, the Minnesota Home Series, and uh, this is going to be definitely an interesting video because this is one of the first times we've had losses in a while, so let's get into it and find out what happened. So going into week 2 of stage 5, we were already up 2-0 in the standings because last week we beat Paris and London, but going into this week where we had uh, a set of harder matches, on Friday we had to play the LA Thieves, and on Sunday we had to play Optic Gaming, so definitely not the easiest matches for us, but um it was definitely a good test for a lot of the maps and kind of just where we are right now so our first match against the thieves when uh it was a little bit harder than we were expecting i think but at the same time uh it was really really good practice for us and um it was also a pretty good wake-up call for our hard point a little bit just because um we lately we haven't been playing the best hard point we can we've honestly been i feel like we've been trolling a lot and not really working with each other we've kind of been getting lazy and just throwing our lives away and stuff so in this series it kind of uh, affected us so first map against the thieves um was check me hard point and this is a map that we've been letting through to get more reps on it and we're not necessarily bad at this map but it's not one of our best maps i don't think and so um when we played thieves against it it was really really close i don't remember exactly what happened because it happened like a week ago but the score was 250 to 233 and um I, I did, we probably just couldn't get a long hill or a bottom plane hill. That's usually what happens when we aren't blowing people out on this map. And um, yeah, like I said, a hard point hasn't been the best uh, that it's been previously. So this is something that um, we weren't expecting, but also we've been kind of getting used to with our hard points because a lot of them have been closed lately. So going to the second map against the LA Thieves series, we had to play Moscow Surge. Now this is a map that we've been we've been comfortable on in the past, but I feel like lately, uh, ever since the team started auto banning it against us and kind of letting us not play the matches, we've kind of grown. Um, we've gotten worse at the map, I feel like, and this is obviously something that can be fixed. But uh, thieves took advantage of this and ended up winning six five with a two five sweep. And um, this map made me pissed beyond belief. <clears throat> which I'm sure you guys all saw in the stream But it's just because I couldn't get anything going the last like four or five rounds of the map And I felt like it was kind of my fault. We lost Just because um, you know, I was the only supposed to trade slasher at the end When he got that three piece or whatever and a lot of the other rounds I just feel like I couldn't really shoot my gun, which is so frustrating Because you know if you play surge, you know Not being able to get into gunfights or not being able to at least do something in the round is the most infuriating thing ever because you're just not doing anything on the map. And uh, yeah, we ended up going 5-2 in this map and just choking it and losing 6-5. And this was something that I don't think's ever happened to us this year. So it was definitely something to just you know forget and move on to the next map. So the third map uh, of the series, the control against Thieves, we ended up playing Garrison. And uh, we're pretty much used to this by now because we've been smoking people on Raid for the most part. So we're, and we don't really play checkmate, so just, you know, there's only three maps, so Garrison was it. And, um, you know, we're super, super comfortable in control, and we pretty much steamrolled on this map. It wasn't that close. Um, we 3 0 him. I think we won two offenses, and honestly, there's not much else to say about this map. <clears throat> we were in control the entire time, and last round we got streaks on our offenses, and it was just over. So, yeah, 3 0 smoked and the control onto map four. So this fourth map hard point was super close. Um, I think we were just going back and forth a lot and we've just been struggling in hard point with our holds and kind of just working off each other. So, you know, we're getting broken on hills. We're not winning the rotations we need to be. And this ended up being a lot closer than it should have been. Um, I feel like we should have smoked in this map, but I think we let them get a couple hills they shouldn't have. And, you know, they got some, some points that they shouldn't have. And we ended up winning 250 to 220. And uh, we want to be winning hard points better than a 30 point, 20 point margin like we did in this series. But, you know, we'll take a map win. Um, we've been already talking about our hard points and how to get better them, but this raid hard point was just back and forth and <clears throat> we ended up just icing up and winning off of the P5 or P1 or something. Yeah, ended up winning the Thieves series 3-1 and take going up 3-0 in our group for stage five so our last match of week two was the our match versus off to chicago and now this is a match that everyone always loves watching everyone always anticipates and uh the last couple times we smoked them but this match was a lot closer than the other ones and honestly one of the best series of the year if you ask me 
so going to this optic series we were all pretty much just planning on playing our game and kind of just hoping to do the same thing we, we did the last couple times we played them but unfortunately that wasn't what happened and you know we had a you know we had to drag out the series a little bit i had to had to just ice up a couple maps but um first map was moscow hardpoint and you know this is a map that we've been good at in our standings but lately we've been losing and this is a product of our how our hardpoints have been and you know like i said for our last match our hard points have been pretty much uh they've been really iffy we haven't been holding a lot of hills i feel like we're getting broken on everything and optic definitely exposes this map we ended up losing 250 to 177 and uh, we were just getting broken on every single hill if you go watch it back every single hill we had rotation two and we'd give up a free kill or two and they just use their numbers and flood and um you know optic chicago isn't a team you could be giving those kind of openings to so you know if they're gonna get the openings they're gonna take them they're gonna take advantage it's just like any top team so um we were just always in the back foot and just couldn't get anything going and we ended up losing that map 250 to 177 and i think this was i don't know if we were expecting this but i don't think any of us really stressed over it just because you know we know it's a long series and there's a lot of other maps that we can win so uh, down on one going to Miami search. So second map was Miami search and now uh, this is a map that optic usually vetoes for their searches But last time we played them they left it and we picked it on them and this time they left it in so we picked it on them And uh, this is a map we've been practicing in our scrims But you know, we've been going really hard in our searches making sure we're our map was pretty good because you know in those best of nine finals um, you know, there's, there's four searches. There's, there's no way around it. So you have to have really good search and you have to have really good control. But this is a map we've been pretty comfortable on lately. I think we 6-0'd Paris on it or London, I'm not sure. And um, <clears throat> it's just been going good in our scrims. So uh, we ended up winning this one 6-4. We were going back and forth a lot. Um, I don't think we were really expecting them to put much of a fight on this map just because they usually auto veto it. So the fact that it was 4-6 just means they've been practicing it a ton in scrims and um, just getting better at it. So this, was, this map was pretty close. We won 6-4, and now uh, it's 1-1 series going to the control. So this control, I feel like, was the dagger of the series. If you ask me, um, this map was probably our closest control of the year. If you, I think we haven't really had much controls lately since the major, I don't think. But this one was definitely one of the closest of the year for us. Um, every team was just taking turns on defenses, winning their defenses. And it ended up going round five. And... I think we had defense, but I think we absolutely fucking toss. And uh, we ended up losing 3-2. And I think this is um, a problem of us not going the right ways and kind of just being in the moment and, you know, not thinking about the plays we're making a little bit. And, you know, I'm definitely involved with this. I feel like there was one or two plays at the end that I could have done a lot better that um, didn't help with us losing the map. It definitely fucked us up, but... Um, yeah, I mean, we're used to winning all of our controls, so as soon as we lost this, I feel like there was a little bit of, I feel like the energy was a little bit down in the room, but, you know, thankfully, we, we're a team with a massive map pool, and, you know, we, we can just regain instantly and not just leave, like, not just let chalk the series. So, we ended up losing 3-2 in the control, they won their last offense, and um, we have to regain within, with a map 4 hard point. So the map 4 was APOC hard point, and uh, this is a map we've been super, super comfortable on in scrims, but not really winning in matches. So, um, yeah, our standings don't look the best on it, but we know we're really good at the map, and this is Chicago, I don't think this is Chicago's one of their better maps. I'm pretty sure they lose this a lot of the time they play it. So, um, they left it in and we picked it because of how comfortable you're on it. And, uh, well, we were just in control the entire game, to be honest. We, um, we were out routine the most hills. And uh, they were giving us a lot of opening picks on a lot of the, the money hill breaks. Like, P2, they gave us for free for the most part. Um, because they, they chowed out and I think someone two-pieced them and they spawned out. And then I think they gave us P5 spawns right at the end. Not right at the end, but um, the second rotation. And, you know, the, the P5 hill is pretty much a money hill if you can get in if you can get into it so we, um yeah we probably held most of that time we ended up winning this map 250 to 170 a pretty comfortable win for us and um this was a really good regain going to the map five because of how the control went um this gave us our confidence back and kind of just let us you know relax and like you know the series isn't over yet so let's get to game five so game five ended up being standoff s and and you know this is a map that we haven't looked the best on in our standings but like I said before, we've been practicing a ton of our searches and scrims and just making sure we're making it the most comfortable it could be. 
And um, this is probably one of the closest searches of the year. I feel like every round was back and forth, back and forth. And um, I don't know. I feel like this was just a super good series. This game five, um, I don't really know what happened, anything crazy. I feel like it was just a matter of, you know, picks and how rounds went. But um, I think we were getting first blood a lot. And that definitely doesn't help on a map where you can just use your numbers and flood a site and kind of just get the bomb down. So um, this map five didn't end up going our way. We ended up losing six, five. And this hurt, this loss hurt a bunch because, you know, first of all, it's off of Chicago. You don't want to lose out another top team. Um, it just stinks. And especially in a game five round 11, um, it just sucked. I think the series was really, really good for just map reps overall. I mean, we might not get first seed in our pool now because I think Optic only has London left to play and they're gonna go five and out if they win that. But I don't really mind playing more matches uh, at major five. You know, you, you don't need a first round by to win a tournament. We can we can win four, round, four matches, not three matches like everyone on Reddit says. So um, hopefully we can win our last match against New York and um, end up going four and one get second seed and just go to the tournament and fry until the major we're gonna keep practicing our our searches and i think this match was a huge wake-up call for our hard points you know as if there wasn't one already i feel like now everyone understands that um we we're not doing the stuff we're supposed to in our hard points and we need to be just working together because you know, teamwork is always what is going to win you games and teamwork is what separates the good from the great so hopefully we can put it together again and just get back to final form because I'm pretty sure every time we lose, we just come out hot with the next couple of matches. So I can't wait to get back to the lab and get better at all these things. And I'm sure all the guys are thinking the same, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. If you're new here, make sure you sub to the channel. I do one of these after every week, um, kind of just bringing down our matches a little bit, what happened and kind of what's going on next week. Yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.